Our next guest is a multi-platinum selling rap artist known for his prodigious talents, both verbal and herbal. <laughs> his new album, Multiverse, comes out July 29th. Please say hello to Wiz Khalifa. Before we get started, I, let's just talk about this album cover for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three ladies on here. Yeah. Uh, one's holding the joint. Mm -hmm. uh, who are they and what do they symbolize? They, they, they represent the powerful women in my life. I got a lot of women in my life and they take care of me. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How high are you right now? <laughs> I'm freaking stoned. <laughs> I got to I had to ask, because I got my mom's here. My mom came in my dressing room before the show. She oh. said, baby, I think Wiz Khalifa here, because they lighting incense in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who got you involved? Who smoked you out first? Well, I grew up, my mom smoked pot in the house. OK. Yeah, yeah, as a child. She didn't actually get me high as a child, but right. that was my introduction to being like, hey, you know, it's not as bad as people think it is. She operated uh, at work, and she made sure me and my siblings were, were really good. So, um, you know, that was my first introduction to it, with her smoking and listening to Erica Badu and lighting incense in the house. And then uh, when I got of age, uh, my partner, Burner, he, he's the one who really put me onto the game and showed me the medicinal side of it and the business side of it and the genetics of it and things like that. And that's what brought me to where I'm at now in the cannabis space. Okay with my own strain, Khalifa Kush. Khalifa Kush. Yeah, yeah. Is it possible to be too high? Yeah, absolutely. Is it? Okay, how 100%. do you... 100%. And how do you know? <laughs> you know, I've, uh, I've experimented, but uh, nah, it, it's all about finding the, uh, the the dosage for you. It's medicinal, so yeah. you can't take too much medicine. You take just enough. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, speaking of just enough, now, we can't show the clip uh, on television, but I saw this oh, on Instagram. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. What the hell is this, <laughs> dog? It's called a can of gun. A can of gun. Yeah. So the thing about potheads is we're really ingenuitive. Uh, <laughs> we just have to come up with like. Also, the thing about uh, <laughs> potheads, they uh, make up words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see that? You like that? I like that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But, but let's talk about the can of gun, man, because I, I saw that. Who was that you were shooting this can of gun at? Because he was asleep. Yes, he was asleep. That was, uh -huh. my, that was my little cousin, Ty. He had just got off a flight. And um, he was a little sleepy, so I just had to wake him up. Right. Now, what? Yeah. Now, what is the purpose? We gotta look at this. What is the purpose of the can of gun, man? What? What? What does it do for you? It gets you stoned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I I watched this on IG. How much product is in the can of gun? Because uh -huh. you, it, it was it was blowing smoke that. You know, set off fire alarms, I for would sure, imagine. For yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. I can get you one if you want. I do. Yeah, I got you. I do. I got you. Me and my mama, me and my mama got, me and my mama gonna get high. Uh, I got you, mom. My, my mother, I flew my mother over to London. I was over there working for her 50th uh -huh. birthday almost uh -huh. 20 years ago. And that was the first time uh, uh, we, we experimented together. Perfect. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Smoke with moms is the best, bro. It is. <laughs> really. It is. I, I also hear that you're moving into mushrooms. Yeah, the mushroom space is opening up um, mm -hmm. a lot. A lot of people have been microdosing. It's been helping people with anxiety and depression and yeah. a lot of different mental, you know, things that some medicines that have really bad side effects, the mushrooms have been more acceptable to uh, kind of handle those. So uh, we starting overseas. The company's called Mr. Caps, and um, they're going to be available overseas. And then as the laws loosen up and change, you're going to see it start to come back over here to America, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you're going on tour soon. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was looking at your tour schedule. 
you, you have a show like every other day, mm -hmm. but you don't, you don't travel traditionally, you know, airplanes and all that. You, you're you're kind of old school with mm -hmm. it. Uh, why, why the bus, you know? Um, this, that's just how I was brought up. Like, mm. sleep on the bus, it, it saves money. Um, yeah, it's just more fun that way. Like, right. I like to have it like more, you know, it's like a, like a, like summer camp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever driven the bus yourself? No, I don't operate the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 knowing what, what you like to do and how you enjoy your, your time and whatnot with, with your boys and whoever's on tour with you, how do you keep the smoke from going into the front cab with the, with the bus driver? How do we keep him sober? I never even asked. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> cold. <laughs> now, yeah. now uh, we have mutual friends in common, and, and, and a friend of mine told me one time you guys were uh, recording at a hotel in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and uh, you were kicked out of the hotel. Oh, yeah. In, in, in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why were you kicked out? This, all right. And how long were you banned from that hotel? So this happened maybe 12 years ago. OK. Maybe 10 or 12 years ago. I don't remember, but yeah. Of course you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this was like before, you know, social media was really, really yeah. popular. So I took a camera with me everywhere. Long story short, we stayed in the hotel. And I filmed me smoking and recording my album in these people's hotel and putting mm -hmm. it on YouTube. And they watched it, and they were just, like, blown away. They were like, how the hell could you ever do that in our, in our establishment? Why would you do it? And they kicked me out. And I was just able to stay there again last year, like, when I went back to Pittsburgh. For the first time. Yeah, so in it's been, 10, like, a, a good, solid 10 years. <laughs> I got kicked out of the hotel. But it was worth it, though, man. Like, that shit made my career, yo. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know... Speaking about being on tour or whatnot, you take your son, Sebastian. Yeah, absolutely. On, on, how old is he now? He's nine years old now. He's nine. Yep. And, and how do you, I, I don't, I don't want to use the word protect him yeah. from, uh, from the things that happen on the road, yeah. but, but you know, how, how do you look out for him yeah. you know, as a nine-year-old? Yeah, absolutely. We keep it really separate. Um, mm -hmm. The party changes when he's on tour. Like, it's all about him and his family time and his kid time. So a lot of the things that are acceptable while he's not there aren't acceptable while he's there, especially traveling in different states where they're not as lenient. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So it is what it is. It's all about baby boy while he's there. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I, got, I got to ask you this one last, one last question before we go. You're portraying George Clinton. Oh, yeah, yeah, In yeah. the movie. Let, 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 let's talk about that before you get out of here. Were you familiar with George Clinton and his work with Parliament Funkadelic before all of this? Or, you know, did you grow up listening to him? How's that work? Hell yeah. My parents, they listened to all types of music in the house. And they made sure I grew up with the funk. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah there was yeah. some funk okay. going on in the house. What, what, sure. can, what can you tell us about, you know, portraying George Clinton? Or what can you tell us about this film? Um, the film is great. The story that they're telling is great. Um, the actors on there are amazing. Uh, it was just fun to be a part of it. They they really wanted me to be myself, but but as him. Yeah. And I got to meet like some of his grandkids and kids, and they were just telling me how much I reminded them of their granddad. So it was just fun as hell to just be there and be on set. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. dope. That's dope. Everybody, yeah. round of applause for Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> Multiverse comes out July 29th. And Wiz Tour kicks off July 27th in Irvine, California. We'll be right back with music from Hot Milk. <laughs>